so now we are going to work here on the bottom band and the bottom hole band for that what I'm going to do I'm going to join my yarn on the bottom right side of the um, what you call it cardigan while wrong side of uh, the cardigan facing towards you here on the bottom corner I am going to attach my yarn and then I am going to make chain 1 and make a single crochet into the same stitch single crochet this is a uh, chain 3 uh, this is the starting chain 3 and this is the bottom of that single crochet the last round uh, we made on our cardigan was single crochet so this is base of that single crochet and third chain of that starting chain 3 I am going to make a single crochet into that as well And one single crochet on the side of that chain 3 or into the second chain of those three chains. And again this is the round of single crochet. So I am going to make a single crochet into that. The next is uh, uh, what you call it double crochet. So I am uh, sorry this is uh, chain 3. So I am going to make a single crochet into the bottom of that single crochet and third chain of that chain 3 again one single crochet into the second chain or on this uh, side of that chain 3 single crochet into next single crochet round on this side of that single crochet round and I'm going to repeat this all the way until I reach here and then I will resume the video I will explain it once more that you should end up from here <clears throat> from here to here this is uh, what you call it single crochet and the next is chain 3 so into the single crochet you are going to make a single crochet and then on the base of that single crochet and um, third chain of the starting chain 3 you are going to make a single crochet and then on the side of that starting chain 3 you are going to make a single crochet so you should end up let's see from here to here you should end up with three single crochets one made here second here and third here I will repeat it all the way upwards and I will resume the video when I reach here I'm here and this is the round where we separated for the skirt and uh, sorry for the front back and arm holes and uh, this is the base of this starting chain 3 and top of this double crochet from the next round we are going to make one single crochet into that and one single crochet on the side of that double crochet one single crochet into the base of that double crochet or top of this chain 3 and one single crochet on the side of this chain start uh, starting three chains and again I'm going to make a single crochet on the base of that chain 3 and top of this double crochet one single crochet on the side of that double crochet I'm going to repeat it all the way until I reach the right uh, front top right front side of the neckline or the corner of the neckline on the left side sorry it's left side it's not right side I think I mistakenly said right side but it's left side so I will resume the video when I reach here on the top of uh, top corner of the neckline on the left side so I am here on the top corner of the right side, uh, sorry, left side of the neckline and into that I am going to make one, two 
and into the second single crochet place of stitch marker and three on the corner i made three double crochet uh, single crochets and into the central one or the second single crochet i have placed a stitch marker now the next uh, stitches are very simple that you are going to make a single crochet into each and every stitch this is the base of the uh, double crochets we made these are the chains we made when we started making this cardigan continue making one single crochet into each and every stitch until you reach the other uh, corner of the neckline and then I will resume the video again I'm on the other corner of the neckline and into the last stitch I'm going to make one into the second one I'm going to place a stitch marker you don't have to do that if you can just remember the central stitch uh, and three I'm going to make three single crochets into the corner and I've I placed a stitch marker into the second one and then I'm going to do what I did here I'm going to simply repeat this by making one single crochet on the side of this is double crochet this is double crochet so I'm going to make a single crochet on the side of that double crochet one single crochet on the top of that double crochet one single crochet around on the side of that chain 3 one single crochet into third chain or top of that uh, chain three and bottom of the double crochet from the next round and one single crochet on the side of next double crochet so repeat it all the way here and then I will resume the video again and now the next uh, stitch is double crochet so I'm going to make a single crochet on the side of that one single crochet on the top of this double crochet and bottom of this single crochet there is this loop or hole I'm going to make a stitch in that and one single crochet around uh, on the side of that single cro crochet so repeat this pattern all the way until you reach bottom and then I will resume the video again Um, I have completed here until I reach the bottom of the cardigan we are not going to work here on the bottom of the cardigan we are going to leave that unworked and now I will make chain one and turn around and I will make one single crochet into the same stitch where we have made chain one and then make a single crochet into each and every stitch until we reach our first stitch mark uh, stitched uh, what you call it uh, until we reach our first stitch marker simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet upwards until we reach here my stitch marker fell off but this was the second single crochet here so we are going to make a single crochet into each and every single crochet until we reach here and then I'll resume the video again and now into this uh, stitched uh, uh, this stitch marker or into this stitch where we have placed our stitch marker I'm going to make three single crochets one two and three and into the second one I'm going to place our stitch marker back and now it's very simple and easy from here to the next uh, stitch marker I'm going to simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until I reach my next stitch marker 
into the next one I'm going to make three single crochets one two and three and then I'm going to make chain two one and two and skip next two single crochets and into the third one I'm going to make a single crochet skip next two single crochet into the third one I'm going to make a single crochet and single crochet into next five single crochets in total you should have five single crochets one two three four and five five single crochets after this chain two again make chain two one and two skip next two single crochets and one single crochet into next five single crochets one two three four and five chain two skip next two single crochets one single crochet into rest of the single crochets all the way to the bottom so we have made one two and three button holes so make single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way until you reach the bottom of the cardigan and then i will resume my video again now make chain one and turn around turn around and make a single crochet uh, into each and every single crochet until we reach our first chain two space and then i will resume the video again into this chain two space i am going to make two single crochets one and two and one single crochet into next five single crochets one two three four and five and again it's chain two space so i'm going to make two single crochets into that <coughs> one single crochet into next five single crochets two single crochets into this chain two space one single crochet into the next single crochet and three single crochets into next single crochet which is the corner of the neckline one two and three place your stitch marker back into the second double uh, single crochet and now it's very simple and easy what you are going to do is uh, you are going to make one single crochet evenly into each and every single crochet on the neckline and here into the um, marked stitch we are going to make two uh, three single crochets and then we are going to place our stitch marker back into the second single crochet or the central one and then make one single crochet all the way here to the bottom and then i will resume the video again okay the next round is very simple and easy to make what i'm going to do or what you are going to do is you are going to make chain one and make one single crochet one single crochet into each and every single crochet one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way upwards until you reach my my stitch marker fell off again but this is the second stitch so i'm going to place my stitch marker back just for the sake of the video so you are going to make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until you reach the first stitch marker make three single crochet into that make one single crochet all the way uh, around the neckline three single crochets into the central stitch and one si single crochet all the way here 
and then you can fasten off the yarn but if you want your button band or button hole band a little bit more wider you can repeat the last round which I'm going to make right now once more otherwise you can just finish it off and it will look like this and next step is going to be to work on the arm of the cardigan so i will do rest of the um, this round i'm going to make off camera and then i'll resume the video when we are going to start working on our second arm join yarn here uh, this is the round which we made when we were separating for the front and back side and the armholes we are not going to join here we are going to join here on the last round of the yoke and this is the stitch where we are going to join this is the stitch where we have made our last uh, double crochet before skipping all these stitches for the armhole so <clears throat> I'm going to join there and make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and this chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet here onwards so I'm going to make a double crochet into the same stitch and I'm going to make simply one double crochet into each and every double crochet three four And the last stitch I'm going to make here this is the next stitch uh, we made after skipping all these stitches this is the next uh, stitch we made we are going to make our next double crochet on the bottom of that if you remember we skipped 29 stitches for the arm holes so we should end up 31 stitches we should end up with uh, 13 uh, 31 uh, double crochets here on the arm hole now what we are going to do we are going to skip our starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 make a double crochet into the same stitch and one double crochet across the round until you reach at the end of this round and at the end of this round as well you should end up with 31 stitches starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet on the arm if it's counted as double crochet i will mention that i'm at the end of this round so i'm going to skip this starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then i'm going to repeat last round as many times as i need to totally depending on the length of the arm i want and then we are going to work on our cuff i will resume the video when we are going to work on our cuff the cuff is going to be approximately two or two and a half inches so uh, repeat the last row as many times as you need to uh, depending on the length of the arm you want uh, sorry length of the sleeve you want minus uh, two and a half inches approximately and then i'll resume the video when i reach here when we, i will make i will start working on the cuff so i will make rest of the arm uh, uh rest of the sleeve off camera and then i'll resume the video again i have repeated that round for total 12 times and now what i'm going to do i'm going to skip this starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and now we are going to work on our cuff make chain three one two three and this starting chain three again does not count as our first double crochet so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this starting chain three from the last round and this double crochet the first double crochet and starting chain three from the last round into front post double crochet and then back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post into next 
Repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one front post double crochet uh, in next uh, stitch and then one back post uh, double crochet into the next all the way to the end. There is just one thing that we need to do is that we have to skip the last stitch and the reason behind uh, doing that is because we have uh, 31 stitches when we started working on our sleeve but we need equal numbers of the stitches so that's why we are going to convert these 31 stitches into 30 and for that what we are going to do is we are going to skip our last double crochet because we started with front post double crochet so we should end up with back post double crochet for that we are going to skip the last double crochet so that we can end up with equal numbers of the stitches I have made a back post double crochet for the last time and this is the stitch we have left we are going to skip it skip next chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and now make one two three chains and we are basically repeating the last round but what we are going to do convert the double crochet and starting chain 3 of this round into front post back post double crochet into next back post front post into next front post back post into next back post repeat this pattern by making a front post uh, double crochets into all front posts and back post double crochets into all back post double crochets all the way to the end So now skip the starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 and now what you are going to do is you are basically going to repeat the last round as many times as you have to totally depending on the length the desired length of the sleeve and then you simply cut the yarn and secure the end and then your cardigan is complete. Uh, so I will restart the video or resume the video when I have done it and then I will resume the video again.